Welcome to WIPLD video tutorial. Using CAD models created in other software packages, especially mechanical engineering tools, is an important part of VM modeling. Very often, it is necessary to export CAD model from one tool and properly convert it into another. Such imported models usually contain geometric irregularities and details, which are irrelevant for electromagnetic simulation. This often leads to irregular models after the meshing process, or requires much powerful hardware and software configuration for such simulation. Geometry irregularities are automatically recognized in WIPLD Pro CAD. Entities with faults are rendered as transparent and marked in the project tree. Open edges, which indicate places where faces are not regularly sued, are drawn in red. There are two basic types of healing tools – repair tools and rebuild tools. Repair tools are Simplify geometry, Repair geometry and Sue faces. Rebuild tools are Fill hole and Remove hole feature or blend. Let's start with faulty geometry entities. There are two faces with faults in the model of a helicopter we use for demonstration and both of them are rendered as transparent and marked by exclamation marks in the tree. After placing the mouse cursor over one of these faces, the error description appears in the status bar. Healing of entities with faults can be performed by using the Repair Geometry option or the option Simplify Geometry. In some cases, only a combination of these two options yields a result. To enable visualization of faces which are not properly connected together, the option Mark Open Edges should be chosen. After activating this option, all open edges which belonged to non-wire bodies will be marked by thick red lines. An open edge belongs only to a closed loop of a single face. In the case of a generic aircraft, open edges are edges of the windows and edges in the fore part of the plane. Edges of the windows are obviously open, but edges in the fore part indicate that faces are not well connected. In order to sew these faces together, the faces should be selected in the Sew Faces option Applied. Holes on the fuselage could be filled by applying the Fill Hole operation. The option Extend Bounding Faces is used in this case and the holes are filled, while their bounding edges are deleted. Some small details on the lower side of the wings whose influence on simulation results can be negligible, in some cases are visible. By applying the Remove Feature option, we can remove these details. Apart from these details, a very small hole exists in the wing. This hole can be removed by applying the Remove Hole option. Finally, the Remove Blend option is applied in order to remove blends existing on the vertical wings of the plane. The Remove Hole manipulation was presented earlier. Now we are going to demonstrate some more options for this manipulation. 
We will start with the flare model with a smaller base removed. First of all, a very useful option for selection of edges will be shown. After we select an open edge, the Select Open Loop option will automatically select all of the edges belonging to an open edge type that are connected to the selected edge and form a unique loop. After the open loop is selected, we will show the use of the Fill Hole operation. For the first example, we use options Create Patch and Sharp Outer Boundary. With these options, the hole is filled by creating a patch that includes the boundary edges of the hole. The boundary between existing faces and faces belonging to the patch is sharp. In the next demonstration, the setting for outer boundary is changed from sharp to smooth and the number of faces in patch is set to minimum number. It is obvious that the boundary between existing faces and faces belonging to the patch is smooth and the number of created faces for the patch is equal to 4. Finally, the Extend Neighboring Faces option is checked. The hole is closed by extending its neighboring faces. The second model is a part of the sphere. By applying Fill Hole with the options Create Patch and Sharp Outer Boundary, the hole will be filled by creating a flat face. If we use Smooth instead of Sharp option, the patch which represents a part of the sphere will be created. Finally, if the Extend Bounding Faces option is selected, the spherical face is extended to form a complete sphere. Example of the square with a hole is used to underline the difference between the options Create Patch and Extend Bounding Faces. The option Create Patch fills the hole while retaining edges bounds the hole. We can see that, thanks to Extend Bounding Faces option, the hole is filled and there is no evidence that the hole existed at all. The option Fill Hole is applicable for wire bodies as well. It fills the interior of the wire loop while the wire body is deleted. The healing tools, together with an automated meshing demonstrated in this video, allows Whipple the user to easily and efficiently prepare the imported geometry for EM simulation. Thank you for your attention. For further information, please visit our website.